as I mentioned with Justin, same true with Justin and Haley, same what you get on camera is what you get yeah. off. Obviously, they're relatively newly married, not, not that new anymore, mm -hmm. um, but they really are on the same page and are there for each other, and it seems to be just a, a really, really great relationship. And here you are uh, working with one of the biggest stars on the planet on one of the most authentic, incisive, deep diving documentaries, series that we've seen in a really long time. At any point you shake your head and go, yeah, this is my life. Yeah, I mean, I think that this process has been amazing and seeing a global superstar pour their heart into a project and being able to be at the helm and along with an amazing team of people has been a really exciting experience. Take the global superstar out of the equation. Yeah. What makes this project different from others that you might have worked on? I think the longevity, you yeah. know, I mean, it covers a really long period of time. And also just the, the uh, attention to detail on, while also being cognizant of the spontaneity. Yeah. And, and by that, I mean, you gotta have cameras there. You don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, there's schedule and, you know, you try to plot things out, but when you're really tracking somebody's life and not to be too on the nose, but a specific season of somebody's life, like you <laughs> yeah. really want to be there. There's a moment that I've mentioned in an interview before where he thinks the, ca the, the interview's over and the cameras are shut off, but we were tail slating the shot. And he leaned over and he said to me, cause I, I'm always talking to him right through yeah. the camera. And he said to me, you know, it felt so good to share. I don't, I don't think, and I asked him, I said, I said, have you ever talked about this publicly? And he said, I don't think I was ready. I don't think I was mature enough yeah. to own up to it yet. Yeah. To take responsibility for that stuff. And that stuff actually is in the credit sequence of episode five, because it was just, it was so real. And you see that he thinks the camera's off and he's speaking the exact same way that he has throughout the series. But you know, he's just sort of like off out of frame, yeah. but it was, it just showed that it, he finally got that stuff off his chest and I think it was cathartic. Well, couples aren't always on the same page when it comes to sharing, and that's, that's totally okay. Were they on the same page? Yeah, I think they, they, they really always are. And again, as I mentioned with Justin, same true with Justin and Haley, same what you get on camera is what you get off, which is really, again, only myself, the crew, would know that, and the people that they obviously yeah. have really in their lives. Um, they were on the same page, and I think that probably has a lot to do with the fact that they've been friends for so long, they've known each other for yeah. so long. Obviously, they're relatively newly married, not, not that new anymore, um, but they really are on the same page and are there for each other, and it seems to be just a, a really, really great relationship. We see this talent that he's got, right? We see the, the, the ability to play the drums and play pretty much any instrument he yeah. plays his hands on. We also, see him, we also see yeah. him with the Rubik's Cube, and what, what's something that you saw him do that just blew your mind? Unicycling was pretty wild. You, oh, sure, unicycling. Throw that in. Yeah, all right. Uh, so he's got perfect pitch and perfect balance. Dart throwing, bullseyes, uh, wild hand-eye coordination, yeah. singing. I mean, it's, it's something to envy.